Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we are here to discuss one of the important investigation of uh, cardiology, what we call the treadmill test, TMT. And a lot of uh, facts are uh, being asked time and again from the patient uh, that my TMT is normal. How I can get a heart attack, uh, or my uh, whether I am I will be going to develop heart attack or not? Whether TMT is going to define. So some of the queries related to the treadmill and what it makes a difference if you are doing and, and what are the clinical markers of the disease that TMT is going to detect, we will discuss. So coming first regarding TMT, what exactly it is. So treadmill test we do to see the cardiac efficiency as well as any coronary related issue is there or not. So patient is uh, asked to walk on ramped uh, treadmill. And we are seeing the ECG, heart rate, as well as the BP response. So how it is behaving when your heart rate is increasing and when you are doing exertion that we are checking in that one. And that give an indirect impression about the oxygen requirement, how it is behaving when you are exercising. So if you are uh, having the heart blocks or you can say coronary blocks, the ECG changes will start happening at the same time. Uh, your blood pressure response will also show some differences. And there are diseases in which if you are having valvular heart disease, means valve is having issues, the blood pressure will start dropping. So these are the markers that uh, we see during the treadmill and do, uh, do, uh, by which we make an inference that you are having some heart related problem that need a further evaluation. Coming, what are the tests, uh, we, uh, why we want to do the treadmill? and which type of patient should undergo TMT. So there are two subset of uh, uh, diseases. One is called arrhythmia and second is called coronary artery disease and valvular heart disease. So coming first to the arrhythmia, so there are some condition which is going to uh, appear when you are doing TMT. So condition like uh, uh, long QT syndrome means this is one of the arrhythmia condition or you are having CPVT. So when you are doing exercise, the, uh, the abnormality will come, even the arrhythmia will be coming and one condition called WPW syndrome. So these three conditions are related to the rhythm disorders which will get confirmed and sometime we can know the behavior of the heart for this uh, condition to uh, progress over time or it is leading to symptom or not or disease or not that can be defined. Second comes the other type of uh, variant, what we call as a valvular heart disease and coronary artery disease. So aortic, uh, aortic stenosis and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, these are the condition in which we want to see ECG changes as well as the BP changes when you are doing the exercise and we can say that yes, you have to go for the valve replacement or the mimectomy, which is one of the surgery we do in the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So these two conditions, we can say valve related uh, conditions that we want to define by treadmill test and accordingly we give the advice whether in the doubtful situation where we are not able to make any conclusion from the complaints that whether the patient is having severe disease or not. Third comes the coronary artery disease. So if a patient is sedentary and we are not knowing whether he is having some severe coronary artery disease or not or blocks are there or not. We put the patient or we advise the patient for treadmill test and while doing the treadmill we can say there are two, two variants. One variant we call as a strongly positive means the patient develop BP drop or the patient develop marked ECG changes before the stage 2 or there are some arrhythmia happens during the treadmill that define that there is a severe coronary blocks or blocks are having a very marked effect on the uh, heart pumping and this type of patient should urgently undergo angiography to uh, fix their coronary problem because they can develop heart related issues or heart attack in the future and this type of patient should opt as early as possible. But there are some, uh, there are some grades means we can say uh, they are not uh, severely uh, compromised or their, uh, uh, their ECG changes are not defined as a high risk TMT positive. So in that scenario, we can give the impression that you are having coronary problem and no doubt angiography is going to define how severe it is. In that situation, lifestyle modification and medicine is mandatory and they should opt it and provide it if they, uh, they want to know the blocks or they want to uh, define the severity of the block, they can uh, undergo angiography. So in summary, 
uh, treadmill test defines uh, your uh, heart functional capacity it can give impression about your arrhythmic uh, condition like wpw syndrome cpvt as well as um, long qt it can give the impression about how your coronaries are behaving during the exercise it can define about the severity of the valve which need to be replaced or if you are having hypertrophic cardiomyopathy it can give the impression whether you really needs further treatment and whether the medicine is working or not with this information we'll meet you next time jai hind